When a company has only variable costs, it makes money whenever the selling price per unit is higher than variable costs. When a company has also fixed costs, measuring profitability is not as simple anymore. Prices over the long term have to be higher than what managers call the full cost. The full cost reflect the value of all resources used to produce a product or serve a customer. It includes variable costs per unit as well as a reasonable proportion of the fixed costs. To estimate the full manufacturing cost of a product, we need to build a model of how resources are used. This model, called a cost system, traces, assigns, or allocates. All these words have the same meaning in the management world. The cost of the resources to products. The first component of a cost system is variable cost of a unit. The second is fixed cost per unit, estimated as the division of manufacturing fixed cost by volume. Adding variable and fixed costs per unit give the full cost of a unit. Cost systems can provide various cost estimates. If only the manufacturing costs are included, then the cost system reports the full manufacturing cost. If all other costs are also included, such as marketing, administration, etc., then the total full cost is estimated. Regulation does not require companies to have cost systems to manage a company. Rather, managers demand them to have the information they need to manage companies.